Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before in case this is your first time watching. Hi, I'm Leslie. I'm so glad to have you here. On my channel I cover a wider range of topics. It all started with handbags, luxury handbags in particular, as you might be able to tell. Those will always be a passion of mine. But you'll also find tons of vlogs here, especially travel vlogs. For instance, I recently went to London and it was such a dreamy experience because I went towards the end of November. All the Christmas decorations were up. Yeah, definitely check out my London vlogs that I already uploaded. I also film luxury shopping vlogs, of course, like unboxings, reveals, review videos, what fits inside, styling videos, some like high street fashion content thrown into the mix. So if that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to stick around and consider subscribing and also ring that little bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. So today's video will kind of be like a collective haul, I guess, of items that I picked up over the last one or two months, um, including something from Louis Vuitton and Apart from the sunglasses that I purchased in March, which, spoiler alert, um, might be somewhat of a regret. I'm gonna film like a dedicated video about like my best and worst luxury purchases of 2022. But uh, yeah, apart from those sunnies, I think the last like SLG, hint hint, um, that I purchased from Louis Vuitton was in 2020. And I also got something from Dior Beauty. Look at this packaging. I mean, this is the, um, yeah, this year's holiday packaging for Dior Beauty and Dior, both beauty and like Dior fashion or couture goes all out when it comes to their packaging. Also in terms of pop-up stores, I realized, um, as I mentioned, I went to London and I checked out the Dior Cafe and the Dior exhibition. Insane. Everything was gingerbread themed and I don't even want to imagine um, the like advertising budget that they had allocated for the Harrods pop-up because, well, it was really impressive. Definitely check out the dedicated video that I filmed about that. But yeah, those two items are waiting to be unboxed. Okay, I already did like the original unboxing just to check if everything's all right. Um, but before we get into those, I do have something very exciting. A while ago, I got approached by Vivaya. Vivaya is a sustainable shoe brand that was, I think, founded in 2020. So not that long ago, but I've seen lots of creators talk about them. And yeah, housekeeping first. And um, those two pairs of shoes that I'm about to show you have been sent to me complimentary for review purposes. I am extremely selective when it comes to sponsorships or yeah, receiving items for review. You wouldn't even imagine. I mean, I'm not even at 2000 subscribers on YouTube, but the amount of emails I get on a daily basis basically for the randomest items and sponsorships requests or like offers is insane so I definitely filter through them and decline like 99% of the offers that I do get but I did see a number of big youtubers in the luxury community talk about Vivaya for example Sophie Showhead and Mel Melbourne so I figured okay Mel Melbourne used to be a shoe buyer and if she approves of Vivaya shoes I'd say they're good enough for me. So that was really reassuring and I decided to go ahead and work with Vivaya for the purposes of this video. So one of the special things about Vivaya is their approach to sustainability and keeping everything as sustainable as possible. So even the boxes are like 100% recyclable and from, re yeah, from recycled materials, etc. here. And the shoes themselves are also made from recycled materials. It says, thank you for helping our ocean and recycling more than six plastic water bottles, preventing them from breaking into millions of microplastics and harming marine life. One thing I really appreciate about Vivaya is their sizing. Um, I'm a European size 42 in shoes and that tends to be kind of restricting already, um, especially when it comes to luxury shoes. But <laughs> if you're a seasoned subscriber, you know that I'm not into spending luxury money on shoes. I just yeah, I just can't. I'd much rather get a handbag um, because I do have a lot more control on yeah whether the bag gets scuffed versus whether shoes get scuffed. So I'm not in the game of spending like upwards of a thousand euros on shoes, but especially luxury shoe houses sometimes end at like a European 41. Vivaya goes, I think on most of the shoes, if not on all of the women's shoes, up to a size 43, which is amazing. So really happy that I was able to pick and choose and not be restricted in terms of my choice um, due to the size. So yeah, I ordered my true to size in both shoes and these are the first ones. They are flats in this like monochrome style and they are called the Vienna 2.0. I think the most like popular flat style that Vivaya has is called the Aria 5 but I decided to go for these because I love the monochrome style. In general, their selection is insane. I'm gonna to link to their website down below in the description box and also leave links to the exact shoes that I decided to go for. 
Um, yeah, love the monochrome style and my thinking behind getting these is that while 99% of the time I am wearing heels when I'm in the office, I thought also in the interest of my foot health um, that it was a good idea to get some like classy looking flats. Also, they are like super comfortable, really bendy and they have like some cushioning back here which makes them super comfortable as well and hopefully they won't get me blisters but I'd be really surprised if they did because they are like super soft. Yeah, so I got them for the office in particular just to switch it up. Sometimes my feet get a little tired after a long day or like throughout the days. So these are excellent for the office, but I mean, you can wear them in any kind of setting. They will also look great like on a day-to-day -day basis with more casual outfits. So yeah, these are the Vienna 2.0 and yeah, I will have inserted like mod shots and stuff. And the second pair that I decided to go for comes in a bit of a bigger box. And down here it says that these are made out of more than 12 water bottles, which kind of makes sense because there's a lot more fabric involved. And let me show you. These are called the Regina 2.0 and they are the water repellent version. And I don't know about you, but these give me major Hermes Volva boot vibes. Um, I think they're called Volva, like Volcom? Volva? Can you tell I'm not into the luxury shoe game? Kind of like sock boot material, like a woven but very thickly woven material and stretchy again with this like loop down here, which makes it really easy to put them on and off. And the heel is kind of like a an angular shape, which I think adds a bit of like interest to the shoe. And yeah, again, similar to the flats, these can be worn in any kind of setting at work or like yeah for an afternoon stroll, um, especially with them being water repellent, which yeah is really helpful <laughs> in the colder seasons. So again, these are the Regina 2.0, the water repellent version. And again, I got my true to size and they fit perfectly. They have like, I'd say it's an almond kind of shape. So like not super, super pointy. So there's a lot of room, uh, even if you have like wider feet. So yeah, I'm really happy with both shoes. Again, links to Vivaya's Instagram and their website, of course, as well as the two pairs that I decided to go for will be down below. Oh, and Vivaya also gave me a discount code. I think it's for 10%. I'm gonna included on the screen right here and also in the description box below. I don't think the discount code is like linked to me personally, but the links are. So full disclosure, the links that I'm gonna insert in the description box below are affiliate links, meaning it doesn't affect like the price that you pay on the shoes. But if you do make a purchase through my link, I'm gonna get a tiny amount of kickback from your purchase, but no pressure whatsoever, just for your convenience and for full disclosure, um, the links are affiliate links. Anyway, let's get into... Yeah, why not? Let's start with Louis Vuitton. I also like kind of hinted that I purchased an SLG and here it is. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Christmas or like holiday packaging, which kind of looks like Lego with like gold foiling throughout. Kind of a shame, um, but I didn't purchase this item just for the packaging. Or did I? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I did get like this little Lego looking tag right here. And don't look at the bow because my bow tying skills leave a lot to be desired and this is not the way that the box came. As I said, I already opened it up and checked if everything's all right, which it is um, apart from one tiny aspect. But let me first show you what I actually purchased. So it comes in this like tiny little box and you might have an idea of what it is. <laughs> this is the pochette clay from this year's holiday collection in the Place Vendôme Paris style. I just couldn't resist. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not even going to try to justify um, this purchase because for this tiny little item, I think I paid like $2.90. I know, I know it hurts, um, but yeah, it's just so adorable and I love the Place Vendôme boutique. I went to Paris um, also like towards the end of November last year and it was also so beautiful. Like Paris and London, top notch when it comes to Christmas decoration. Maybe London is like a step ahead, but uh, yeah, Paris is beautiful as well. And we went into the Louis Vuitton boutique at Place Vendôme. It has like three or four stories, so ginormous and everyone was so nice. So. Yeah, definitely Paris holds a special place in my heart and wait for the inside. It's like hot pink, now, mm, kind of a muted pink, but yeah, pink nonetheless. So that's definitely a difference from the regular pochette clay, which I do have to say I use on a daily basis. Um, I use a card holder. I try to rotate through my card holders because I do have quite a number. 
But yeah, my Pochette Clé, like the regular monogram one, is always with me and carries like additional cards, some cash and stuff. So yeah, I just couldn't resist. The thing I mentioned about one thing that I'm not like super crazy about is that on both corners, I'm gonna insert like close-ups, you can see the like black stitching, so the thread, which apparently is kind of a thing with all the Pochette Clés from this collection. So it's not like this one is faulty, it's um, <laughs> either all of them are faulty or it's just the way they are made. So so yeah, there's that, but considering that I'm not going to use this, probably, I think the stitching thing is all right for me because the threads won't get a lot of friction anyway. And the second item came in this beautiful box. I already took it out of the box, but <sighs> holiday packaging, Dior Beauty knocks it out of the park every year. And yeah, I purchased this on the Dior website and it came with like so many goodies, like, like perfume samples and like a velvet cosmetic pouch. I'm gonna insert uh, a photo somewhere here because I don't have it on me right now. But yeah, Dior Beauty is amazing online. I mean, not as amazing as in the US because we don't have the like loyalty program where you have like tears from silver to platinum or something like that, diamond, I guess. Yeah, we don't have the like loyalty program yet, but Dior Beauty definitely is generous when it comes to their like add-ons and goodies. And before I ramble on any further, let me reveal the thing that I actually purchased. Slide it out right here, also in this like beautiful holiday packaging. And let's see, one-handed, there we go. <laughs> okay, I purchased three tiny little candles, like mm, medium sized, I guess. Let me see what the size of them is. Doesn't say. Yeah, can you hear? It's like ceramic or like china, I guess. So at least you're getting something for what you pay. I think I paid 150 bucks, which we're not gonna comment um, on the like, uh, is it worth it kind of um, aspect, but yeah. I just adore the packaging and I do admit the packaging might have played somewhat of a deciding role in terms of me deciding to yeah, purchase something on the Dior website. Um, wait, now I'm curious how tall or like how tiny <laughs> are the candles. Ah, there we go. One candle has 85 grams. Yeah, I mean, you know, you pay for the name and the packaging and stuff. So the scents are Ombre Nuit, 30 Montaigne and Jardin d'Orange. Um, yep, definitely orangey. Not my cup of tea, if I'm completely honest. Very, very potent. Let's put it that way. Uh, 30 Montaigne might be my favorite out of the three. Very pleasant. I'm I suck at uh, describing scents, so I'm gonna spare you of my um, feeble attempts. And the third one was Ombre Nuit. Mm, that might actually be my favorite. Or two favorites. I mean, again, the Jardin d'Oranger, not my favorite. Um, probably won't light it, but the other two? Yeah, I can get behind, um, but... Who knows? I'm gonna figure out if I'm actually able to bring myself to burn these. Yeah, I do have a thing with not burning expensive candles. I'm currently looking at a Jo Malone candle, which I've had for like two years, haven't burned that. And also last year's holiday candle by Maison Francis Curitian. I don't know, um, lighting expensive candles is, mm, kind of hurts me inside. Um, I prefer to light my Bath & Body Works candles and those are pricey as well, at least if you're not buying them like on sale or on candle day. But anyway, there's that, and it's magnetic. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Tiny little details, but they do matter when you spend a considerable amount of money um, on like knickknacks and unnecessary stuff like that. And yeah, that's my haul for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, all the relevant links to Vivaya will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. And I guess I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye.